Good morning, Modern Steaders. Yesterday's video was recorded on Tuesday and uploaded for Thursday morning, and I feel like there's so much that's happened in that one day. <sighs> Let's go inside for one minute. I got something to show you. So, on my way into work yesterday, my phone was ringing. I'm like, that's the local phone number. Who's calling me? I'm gonna show you. Boom, we got four turkeys. I was trying to get heritage breed turkeys. So our local feed store only does the giant whites. And we've raised them before. They've grown to like 54 pounds. They're monsters. So I'm like, I want a heritage breed. Nobody local does them. So I was gonna order them through a hatchery online. I only wanted four. It was gonna end up costing me $70. By the time you got shipping involved and small order processing fee, I was like, no. So I went to the feed store and he said, all the orders are already put in. So if you have any extras, let me know. So he did. And that's what the phone call was all about yesterday. Yesterday, they also finished clearing the field, so that's all done, which is awesome. But today, I went, man, we're getting the goats, not this weekend, but next weekend. What's my next priority? And we gotta figure out the fencing. All right, thanks Chris, talk to you later, bye. Ah, I just got off the phone with the logger <laughs> and I don't have the numbers completely finalized. We'll be getting the email in the next day or two, but as of right now, we don't owe nothing and we're getting a little bit of money back, believe it or not. That is awesome. When we get the printout of the numbers on the email, we'll go over everything and share with you what we got back from what what we made the most money on for logging, how much the excavation cost. But this is what I gotta think about right now. As I said in yesterday's video, out here, the field is rough still, and it's really bony, meaning there's a lot of rocks. So if I bring a dozer in and have a dozer smooth it out, it's gonna pull up all those rocks and make a mess. So I need to figure out, do I wanna bring a dozer in? Probably not a good idea. Do I wanna have them come with a roller like they use on asphalt? and help flatten everything. It won't completely smooth it out because it's not gonna move dirt around, but it'll help the ridges, the highs and lows, and push them down and push the rocks in. Then we can seed over that and get grass to grow. So that's what I gotta decide. What's my next step? Are we done? Or do I have the roller come in? Leave it in the, leave it in the comments below and let me know what your thoughts are. I gotta talk with a few people and see what they think.
seed. Olivia got some grass seed to plant the goat area. And for the goat area, we're gonna try just a conservation mix with some clover in it. It's Mr. Figaro over here. What are you doing, mister? What we're gonna do is from like the back side of the barn up to that big rock. We're gonna go from there and then see this tank right here. Yeah. We're gonna go to there and to kind of where the tripod stand is. We'll get some seed out there. And then when there's all dirt, we can put some seed over here too. Game plan? Okay. I got your so we're gonna do it like we're feeding chicken. Remember that? No, that's not how I feed chickens. Is that how you feed chicken? That's how I feed chicken. See, look, the chickens are coming. get stuff in your shoe. Yeah. Man, I hate when that happens. So I'm hoping tomorrow to get all of the goat panel up, get the perimeter fenced in. That'll help keep the chickens out and then we'll build the gate. But I wanted to get this part done first today to give the seeds an extra 12 to 24 hours to start growing. I figure every little bit will help. The purpose of the hay is to keep it, the moisture in on the seeds, to help it grow better, help build soil, keep the birds and the chickens from eating the seeds. And then the mulch hay itself has its own seed heads in it, so it's actually, it does quite a bit of work. <laughs> 